the go and his whistle does get us underway and Morpeth will start us off with Sam Hodgson lofting the ball forward up towards Liam Henderson who wins the first header being fully 40 yards forward and he now has a throw in on, in line with the edge of the 18 yard box on the far side gives it to Donaldson who gives him it back but didn't really want that back but Andrew Johnson's able to recover it but again loses it but he picks it up again and it goes for goal and it lands on the roof of the net what a good effort that was from Andrew Johnson on it's a little bit too central for the for Cuff's liking, but he is gonna he's got a bit of an angle to float this one in towards the back post if he so decides, and he does send it in towards that area. The heads go up, it's won by a Stafford head, loops over Dan Lawson and he gets a hand on it and ten yards off the in line with being the eighteen yard box, it's sent in. Long looping towards the near post, it's flicked on by Stafford head into the back post and it's turned in. Oh well, they didn't win the first ball, they didn't win the second ball, and I think it's Joseph Kenton who stole in at the back post. And that is the first goal of the MPL season, and it's gone against Motor Town. Noble gets in behind him, chests it down, and he's been fouled there. But there's three of them putting pressure on the ball as Forster cannons it off Joe Cuff, who's had a good game, to be fair. Cuff, the left winger, and he's won the resulting ball up in the air. Gives him field to Charles in the box, and he's looking to dance away from a couple and cross from the byline. And does towards the back post. There's Kenton. Super save from Dan Lawson at the towering. Stafford players and they've played up towards Walpus defensive third and the ball is cannoned off and Kenton's in the box here he's got a chance to shoot across goal it's tame and it bubbles comfortably wide all around the corner from Ryan Donson players on the move Noble sends it into the box and the heads go up and it's looped up by Stafford head it'll go back to Noble another chance to deliver sends it back in a better ball in and it drops and the shot is blocked and it'll stay there for Reed. Andrew Johnson has a second go at it and it's blocked and then he has a third go at it loops it up in the air and Henry <laughs> Stafford defender wanted it to and then he's played a I'll just call it a naff clearance forward and so Hodgson doesn't win the first and and then all of a sudden Stafford have won the second ball over the top looking to release Kenton he keeps it in and ooh Phillips goes steaming into a challenge he got none of the ball there Phillips and he's going to have to be careful he got injured in the follow through but Wayne Phillips the red card he's poised with it in his hand and he's off 55 minutes into the new season given He's been given chase by Jake Charles and has looped over the top. Donaldson's into the right-hand side of the area. He brings it down. He's squared up by one. Looks to hit the byline and cross into the area and is headed clear only as far as Walton who shoots. It's two hands on it from the goalkeeper. And here's Joe Cuff. He's down the left-hand side and he's got he's up towards the edge of the area. No one's going towards him. Sam Hodgson has stood off him and there's a shot on goal and Dan Lawson saves. Gets bare but again it's blocked by Morrison Derbyshire and we're allowed to release... Joseph Kenton who got, darts way down the right hand side and he's up towards the edge of the area, chance to cross, sends it low and there's the shot from the substitute Luca Navarro who sends it over the bar for in and I think unfortunately referee that is handball that, um, it hits him on the arm and he's not exactly like inches away from him, it wasn't in the box, it would have been a free kick but a chance for Ben Ramsey to try his own long throw into the penalty area. Chris Weed moves into position, crowded box at that near post. Come on, Morpeth, let's have one. Long throw in is sent in towards a congested area. Reed goes down, it bounces in the box, and Finnegan lets it run across his body. He's forced out to the right hand side. He's shackled by a couple, but he managed to hit the byline and cross into the box towards the back post. Chris Reed scores! He's equalised for Morpeth Town. What a ball to the back post! And he gallops away to the far side to celebrate. He just looped it into the area and Reed wanted it more than his Stafford counterpart. And he bundles it into the back of the net. Towards Chris Reed on halfway. Liam Noble ooh, heads it back to Jeff Henderson who sends it forward looking to release Finnegan who's onside. And he brings it down and shoots. And the keeper was never going to not save that shit his own half. Uh, drifts out the left hand side and rides his man and then plays it in field Henderson who looks it over the top of Finnegan who gets a head on goal and it's grasped by the hands of the keeper aye 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 here is Whitehouse sends it forward from the resultant free kick up towards the edge of our penalty box Kenton glances it on and Luca Navarro looks to dink it inside Ryan Donaldson and he's into the area looks to play it back to Tonks who's looking for Kenton on the edge of the box he's going to get a chance to shoot deflected and in for the back of the net and Stafford have won it at the death and it's Joseph Kenton again in defence Gives it back to Dan Lawson who clears from Luca Navarro who kept up the chase and it's over the head of Donaldson, headed back to Cuff who's going to get a chance to gallop down the left hand side in towards the box, into the area, crosses it low, must be, and there's, it's 3-1, Luca Navarro scores again and in the 93rd minute that is game, set and match for the home side. Keeper comes and punches fresh air and it's moved out to the right hand side and should be cleared away. Blocked into a lot. There's the full time whistle. And Stafford Rangers 
And the game with a 3-1 win at the expense of Mortar Town.